Hey guys, Guild here. Today we're going to briefly go over how to install a mod via Mod Organizer 2, or MO2 as it's commonly known, as well as some steps for adding on to an existing mod list, like Nolvis. Keep in mind, as always, this is merely a brief overview and does not go into every function of the program, as well as the fact that a lot of mod lists, including Nolvis, do not generally provide support in their proper help channels if you customize and add things yourself. Keeping that in mind, we can start on modifying this list ourselves by doing something basic, like adding a new weapon. First things first, you should create a new separator by right-clicking in a blank spot of Mod Organizer and selecting Create Separator. Name it properly, in this instance, New Mods, and hit OK. Give the program a brief moment for the separator to be made, and any new mod you install now will be dropped in this category. When browsing for new mods, make sure you get the correct version mod for the correct version of Skyrim that you're installing it on. When it comes to installing new mods, pay close attention to the requirements and any compatibility to make sure that the mod works and doesn't crash Skyrim. In addition, going over the 254 ESM and ESP limit will cause issues. However, ESL files do not count towards this limit, so make sure to aim for those if you can. Using one of my recently released mods as an example, first you'll browse to the web page and read through the details. Pay attention to anything that talks about installation, requirements, and compatibility. The mod page can differ depending on the author, but most of them do include this information and it is important that you read it. After reading the page, head to the download section to download the file manually. After the mod has been downloaded, Head back into MO2 and click File, Install Mod, and then browse to your Downloads location and select the mod that you've downloaded. Make sure it's properly named, and then select OK. Give the program a brief moment to install the mod before enabling it in the left-hand load order. After enabling the mod, make sure it does not overwrite anything, assuming it is not meant to, and then you will need to sort the right hand load order. Keep in mind you can drag and drop your newly added mod, as well as right click and send to a specific priority. Keep in mind, for all mod lists like Novice that use paper map mods, any mods you add must be above these paper map mods, otherwise it will break your map. After you're finished installing the mod and sorting it properly, you would then go in-game and test to make sure that everything is working correctly as it should. Here's a handy picture to give you a reference of where to keep newly added mods from interfering with any map plugins that may be included by default. As always, thanks for watching, bubs and bubettes. I hope to see you all soon.